Hey everyone, this is Andy from Checkout Page. I've put together this video as a walkthrough of the platform so you can learn how to start selling from your website in just a few minutes, no code needed. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do after signing up is add some details about your business so your customers know who they're buying from, right, and how to contact you if there's an issue. So let's just add um, some details about our business. Our business is called Checkout Page, and here's the URL of our website and support email. That's gonna get included in emails when somebody buys something so they know who to contact if there's an issue. And here set your default currency. So choose a currency which is most applicable for where you sell online and then hit continue. Next step, let's add a logo to your example checkout here. And I'm just gonna choose any image for now and move myself. And then I'm gonna add an accent color um, to my checkout which is gonna be used in the pay button and some other places in the experience. And let's hit continue. The next step is to connect your Stripe account to checkout page. You don't have to do this right now, but if you ever want to uh, process payments, you're gonna have to do this. It just takes a couple of clicks. You need to authenticate your Stripe account and it's all set up. All right, so I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm gonna hit do this later and it's time to start selling. So let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a checkout. And let's just pause right here with checkout page, you can create an unlimited number of checkouts, right? You're not limited to one generic checkout. The whole idea around checkout page is that you can create as many checkouts as you want and you can tailor each of those checkouts specifically for the product and service you sell. Okay, let's create our first checkout, right? Let's click create checkout. Um, let's imagine we're selling an ebook. Okay, let's give it a name, ebook. Um, it's a one-time payment. Let's say it's twenty nine dollars for that ebook. I'm going to sell in U.S. dollars. Um, let's add a discount price. Let's say it was forty nine dollars, right? And let's create the checkout. And just like this, boom, you have a checkout. You are ready to start selling. Okay, so you've made your first checkout. What else can you do? Let's add an image to make this checkout look a little prettier. Um, let's choose an image from in here. Cool. Let's wait for it to upload. Um, let's hit save you'll see the checkout update on the right here. And as we're selling an ebook, we need to add some the ebook file, right? So that people can download it after they've made payment. So let's come down to downloads. I'm going to my documents folder, select this file that I already made previously and hit upload. And let's wait for that to upload. And awesome. So now when somebody makes a payment for this ebook checkout, which is $29, they will get access to this file uh, immediately afterwards. Okay, so what else can I do? Let's say I want to offer a discount on this checkout um, to people buying the ebook. I just come up to fields here. I see the discount code here. I'll just check that on and you'll see the checkout update on the right side with the discount code. In the custom fields section, I can add any kind of custom field I want. So what if I wanna collect someone's name, their phone number, say their shipping address, billing address, ask them a question, allow them to select quantity, all those kind of things are super easy in the custom field section. All I need to do is come and add the custom field, let's say name, um, here we go name, replaceholder of name, and select the customer, uh, name from data type, I'll make that required. I'll click save and you'll see the name is updated in the checkout. I don't want it to be in this order, but that's easy. I just drag the name up into the order I want it and the checkout will update. Let's uh, get a quantity field as well so people can select how many of the eBooks they want. Uh, let's choose quantity here and here we go. I'll give that a label of quantity and hit save. And again, you'll see that the quantity field appears in the checkout. Maybe I want that to be at the top and just drag it up there and boom, it's there. So I don't want to just sell the ebook on its own. I want to give people options in the checkout. Let's say I want to offer an upsell of an audiobook along with my ebook. So to do that, I'm going to come over to the variant section and I'm going to click add variant. Let's just call that variant upsell for now. And then the option I'm going to call um, plus audiobook. And I'm going to give that an additional price of $29. And then I'm going to hit save. And we'll see the, um, the product variant get updated in the right side of the checkout as I do that. So now when people are checking out for $29, if they optionally select the audiobook, um, the price is going to get updated just here. All right, we've got the checkout. It's looking good, but we want to make a couple of design tweaks. So let's head to the design section and we're going to hide the logo. We're going to center align the text. 
Uh, we're going to change the paper on color to say a pink and we don't want say the stripe badge. Cool. Let's hit save. And you'll see that the checkout is updated with our changes straight away. Um, just to bring your attention to this, if you know how to do custom CSS, you can change an awful lot about the way that the checkout looks by adding your custom CSS here, or you can change the labels. So say you don't want it to say pay in the pay button. Let's say you want it to say buy now. It's super easy. Just change the text here and boom the text has changed. You can change the labels of everything in the checkout or you can translate them to your own language. Okay, so you go to checkout, it's looking awesome. You've tailored it precisely to your needs and now it's time to start selling online. So let's head to the top right and click the button labeled add to site. And this is a great moment to remind you that you're gonna need to connect your Stripe account to checkout page in order to process payments online. So as this is an example, we're just gonna click do this later this time and Let's open the payment link to our checkout. Awesome, so you can see the checkout you made for your ebook. You can share this payment link with anyone in the world to accept payment for this ebook. So you see that you can actually use checkout page to sell online without a website. But let's say you want it to add the checkout page to your website. You want it to embed it. You click embed, custom website, copy and paste this embed code into your website and you'd have a responsive embed. Okay, so now you know how to easily add checkout pages to any website or share a payment link with anyone else in the world. Let's head back to the dashboard to wrap things up. Okay, I don't know how I did that, but it worked. Right, so here you'll see a list of all your checkouts, a payment history, all of your customers, and a way to create coupon codes. You'll also have access to the Help Center, which has literally hundreds of help articles on how to use checkout page and we're constantly updating it. Um, you know, you can do many, many more things with Checkout Page, but that pretty much wraps it up for everything I wanna cover in this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please reach out if you have any uh, need any help of anything or have any suggestions for us as a team. Thank you very much, bye-bye.